Thanks for joining us on Fox Sports 1 300 Smile Stadium. Magnificent weather conditions. Today it's the Under 18s National Championship final between the Roosters, winner of the SG Ball Cup, and the Townsville Stingers, winners of the Malmeninga Cup. Here's Renee on the touchline. We're here with the uh, Townsville Stingers coach Steve Shepherd. Steve, a week off for the boys, but you guys kept busy. Yeah, we did. We worked pretty hard uh, over the weekend. We went into camp in, uh, in air just outside of Townsville here, and the boys uh, prepared really well. And what's been the direction going into today's game? Oh, we just need to be consistent in most areas of the footy field, so uh, we want to play the game fast and hard, no different to any other team. All right, well, wish you best of luck out there today. Thank you very much. We also caught up with the Roosters coach, Tony Barnes. Let's see what he had to say. All right, Tony, after a nail-biter last week, how do you keep the momentum for the players going? Yeah, it is a bit hard to lift after a grand final. We didn't uh, do any video on the grand final. We just sort of worked on uh, the occasion of the day and being up here with um, the NRL and the NYC teams. And what's your direction for the boys going into today's game? It's definitely going to be a hot one. Uh, it is, but we're not going to change too much from last week. Pretty much a similar game plan and uh, we'll, we'll play them down the middle and just see where we end up, play some football today and enjoy it. Great, well best of luck. I hope you do enjoy it. Thank you. Appreciate both coaches giving us a couple of minutes of their time today ahead of kickoff in this under 18s national final. I'm joined in commentary by Roosters NRL assistant coach Jason Taylor. And Jason, uh, you spent a couple of years working with uh, the Roosters SG ball coach in action today. Yeah, I did, Tappy. Good to be here, mate. Uh, Tony Barnes and I worked for a couple of years. He was my assistant coach with the Roosters under 20s. Uh, he's, he's a great great guy and a good coach, so uh, he'll have the boys ready to play. Of course, the Roosters, uh, just ahead of kickoff today, have lost both of their hookers. Grant Garvey, one of them, and the other, the player that will really played a starring role in last weekend's grand final victory, Connor Watson. So, without a couple of important players today, as the Townsville Stingers take to the field, and of course, JT, the Townsville Stingers winning the Malmeninga Cup, and as they were just discussing, Renee and the coach, they've had a week off. Yeah, that's right. Look, it's it's very clear that the Townsville Stingers do have a head start in this game. Last weekend off to, to get themselves ready and, and these Roosters boys having to travel to North Queensland and, and back up from the euphoria of a grand final win last week. And it was a grand final win that would have taken plenty out of the tank and emotionally draining as well. They did trail the Panthers 20 nil at Leichhardt with a very poor start of the game defensively prior to mowing them down and winning in extra time. So the referee is Nathan Cormick and the Townsville Stingers will defend the southern end of 1300 Smile Stadium in this opening half and we are underway in this very important junior representative fixture. Oh, massive mistake off the kickoff, Falma Silly and the Townsville Stingers have come up with it. In possession is Nick Brown, the front rower. Well, that's a dreadful start of the game. Second week in a row for the Roosters. Now the ball comes across to DeLui. He'll be hard to hold out, and he'll be told by the referee to play it about five metres out from the Roosters' line. So the tricolours under the rack from the outset of proceedings here. Now Regan Grieve, he gets across the line. Does he have it down? No, he doesn't. Held up, he'll be told to go back 10 metres. Yeah, look, good defence from the Roosters there. I thought uh, Rig was in. As we see that replay, we talked about the fact that the Roosters will have to lift themselves after, after winning a grand final. It can't be easy having to back up the following week. But to start the game in this fashion is certainly the one thing that Tony Barnes wouldn't have been looking forward to. Yeah, too true. You can see very good decision by the officials. That was held up, no doubt about it. The camera behind the line showing it clearly. DeLui now tackled, five out from the line. So the pressure still being maintained. The Roosters are soaking it up. Good charge there. I think it was the lock forward, Kenworthy. So they now swing it right. And Townsville looking dangerous here from the outset. This is Ty Carucci. And you can see how close he is to the try line. The Roosters digging deep off their own line. A mistake there by Kenworthy. And the Roosters come up with possession, and didn't they need that? Yeah, some good defence from the Roosters. They didn't get off their line very far on a few of those occasions, but their, their tackling was good enough. Uh, the Stingers showing that they like to turn the ball back inside early on in the game, so watch for that as the game unfolds. Now the winger, Jack Murchie, in taking a settling run, giving his forwards a hand, and now it comes across to Shin Fuamano, and Fuamano dragged down by two Townsville players Cohen Hess across the top and down low the front rower Nick Brown 
So the Roosters doing it a little Very tough in trying to get out of their own end. Reuben Porter plays it. He's been a powerhouse in the final series. Now on to Poasa Fawamasili. You can see there the Townsville defence is equal to the task. Undoubtedly a big kick downtown will be forthcoming. O'Donnell got the ball away to Travis Edwards. It's a midfield bomb really and a swirling one at that. It's allowed to bounce. Comes back to the Roosters. It's play on. It's still the last tackle. And now two of us, Ashek, will be told to play it. And he may have been hurt there, JT. Look, I've got to question the referee's decision there. I thought one of the Townsville players definitely touched that ball and it should have been six more for the Roosters. Uh, but as you say, Tappy, it doesn't look good for young two of us, Ashek. Yeah, that's the, the aftermath of the kick. Two of us, Ashek, on this reverse angle replay. I think his legs just buckled under him. Bit of weight, perhaps, from one of the Townsville players. Very noticeable that you mentioned the Roosters have lost their two hookers uh, prior to this game, and so their halfback, Chad O'Donnell, is, is playing at dummy half. He was at dummy half for every play that they did coming out of their half. It'll be interesting to see if they maintain that once they get into the Townsville half. Yeah, you'd think not, that's for sure. So the Stingers now, 31 metres out from their own line. Big day at 1300 Smile Stadium. Of course, Holden Cup and NRL fixtures to follow. If you didn't catch our coverage of the under 16s, it was brilliantly won by the Newcastle Knights, defeating the Northern Pride from Cairns. And the referee has run out of patience, a little bit of over exuberance in the ruck. Yeah, for Mano, it was that he just penalised for, for holding down that little bit too long. And the Roosters are going to have to defend their line again. They did well having to do that to start the game. They, they held the, the Stingers out, but they'll need some more of that strong defence. Here's Bambling playing a bit of football. Goes to the line, trying to weave his way through heavy traffic. It was a tough assignment. He was crunched by Isaac Crichton. Right edge back rower for the Roosters. Now Nick Brown on a bad run by the Stingers front rower, and he'll play at centre field. Back to Callum Gayen. And on the attack they go with Carucci and through the hands now from Sam Smith out to the winger, Mosby Jella. And Mosby Jella has put it down effortlessly, it has to be said. Try to the Townsville Stingers, they lead 4 0. The kick to come from White out on the Eastern touchline. Some really nice stuff from the Stingers here. They got the ball to the right edge of the field. The pass went around the back from Carucci and Smith held it up well. Drew in the centre. The winger came in as well. And then Mosby Jella puts it down in the corner. So familiar faces there watching on the stands. Yeah, the Roosters under 20s be playing after this match. So it's a big day for, for footy in Townsville. Brilliant part of the world. Love coming to football here. So Cooper Bambling then. About half a metre in from the Eastern touch line. Difficult assignment. And he misses, as you can see, a little earlier with the 16s game. And there was a squally breeze blowing around the ground. It has abated. So kicker's not really needing to budget for, for breeze at this point. Yeah, some really nice catching and passing from the, from the Townsville team. Balls out in front, really hitting their mark. And then just through the hands, Roosters winger decided to come in on the centre, but was just too late in doing so. OK, so our highlights package here continues. Almost eight minutes of the game gone. The Stingers of Townsville leading by four to nil. And strolling upfield, Cohen Hess on that right hand or right hand edge or eastern corridor, if you like. And now a kick, more pressure for the Roosters. They've been soaking it up seemingly from the opening whistle. Latrell Mitchell tackled in goal. So a line dropout, repeat set to the Stingers. Yeah, Mitchell seems to believe that he jumped from the in-goal area, which would have meant it's a 20-metre tap, but I think the referee got it right. He was he was in the field of play, and that's a dropout. Agreed. And as the replay clearly demonstrated. So now Travis Edwards, who has only been back from injury a couple of games, he's been very good for them. Takes the line dropout, 55 metres on the fly. Kurt DeLui winding up those big legs. Crunched by Shin Fulmano. And another. Gee, all the momentum in the game is with Townsville, isn't it? Running strongly. Decent play the balls, and they're making plenty of metres off the back of it. Kurt DeLui tackled centre field. 
The 15, Mitchell making the tackle for the Roosters. Now we can see Isaac Crichton, a smothering defensive effort on the ball carry up. That's tackle number three. So Townsville has plenty of time left in this set. And again, they shift it to the Roosters' left hand edge. Cohen Hess strolling through poor defence. And Townsville extend the lead to eight with the kick to come. Yeah, look, it's, it's just again some really nice passing, Tappy. I, I really like the way these guys have the ball out in front and they just moved it from the left of the field to the right. Front row is showing some, some nice hands. And then Cohen Hess, it was really strong. Really strong through the Edwards tackle. Yep, Travis Edwards will be disappointed in his effort there. He's normally a lot better. Okay, so Cooper Bambling looking for his first goal of the day and it just went offline. Last couple of metres of flight, so unsuccessful with both kicks. It's 8 0 here at 1 300 Smile Stadium. The Roosters really being let off the hook with the goal kicking at the moment. I like the line that Hess ran there. Just got to the outside shoulder of Edwards. The centre for the Roosters was unsure whether to come in and help in the tackle. and. Edwards, the smaller man, wasn't able to bring him down. As our highlights continue in this match, just short of the 15th minute mark, and the Stingers playing football on their own side of halfway with Gidgen Mosby Jella, who scored the second try of the day. Question to you, Jason Taylor, when you were playing, coming up through the ranks, were the under-18s boys the size that they are now? Uh, there were some big ones, Tappy, but not, as, not, not quite as big as they are today. Unbelievable, isn't it? This is Pramari Anderson. Tackled for the Townsville side. The Stingers custodian. So again, good ball movement. It comes out to Richie Muncho. His momentum was thwarted, had to reach back and pick up the pass that went behind him. He's claimed ball and all by Puasa Fulmasili. Showing good leg drive, he didn't want to go down. Eventually does. He'll play it back to Gayen. So the Townsville Stingers again camped inside the Roosters 30. There's been plenty of this. Two of Arsa Sheck left high and got that safely five out from his own line. He still doesn't look 100% to Avasa Shek. He, he sustained that injury, leg injury earlier in that tackle and doesn't seem to be moving freely. Important member of their team. It's a lovely tackle, isn't it? Cut down to Avasa Shek and he is ginger to his feet. There's no doubt about that. Now charged by Phil Maselli and unfortunately for him, the ball coming out, tremendous defense by the Stingers. He was gang tackled in a legal sense. Now Cohen Hess, most recent try scorer, goes straight towards Reuben Porter, who was equal to the task. So the Roosters have seemingly been under the pump from the opening whistle in this game. Sammy Smith earns his team a penalty, and the boys are getting restless. Yeah, for Mano it was, he was really strong in that tackle. His teammate Fuma Silly was the one who, who had the error. He was trying to lift his team as well, you know, really ran the ball strongly, but it came out. And then his teammate, as I say, with a strong tackle, but a fired up response from the Townsville team. It'll be interesting to see which way the referee goes with this. So another look at what led to, well, Phil Amano lifted his knee, really, at marker, didn't he? Yeah, I've got to say, I didn't see that the first time, Tappy, so it's pretty clear which way the referee will go with this penalty. It sounds like the, uh, the touch judge has got it. And uh, Phil Amano will be penalised. Don't take it out of my hands, all right? I don't want to have to use further options. Coming in like that, just start things. Keep it out, all right? Thank you. So a slight brain explosion there, it has to be said, by the Roosters number 10. Let your boys know. Don't come in like that. Don't come in like that. I've got further options on the line, right? So referee Cormick laying down the law to the Stingers too, not to take the law into their own hands. So Sam Smith, quick tap restart, the right centre for Townsville. Played a really positive role in that try scored by Mosby Jella. In the corner, and here's a chance for the back rower, Cohen Hess. His second try of the game. No chance of stopping him from close range. Far too big, too strong. You know, I was about to say, if I'm the Roosters coach, after 17-odd minutes, with all the possession Townsville's had, 
I was happy only to be trailing 8-0. It's a lot worse now. Yeah, as we said before, the goal kicking was helping the Roosters, but look, that was a set play from the Townsville team. Gayen got out of dummy half to his left, and he turned the ball back inside. And Cohen Hess, he's been strong, hasn't he? Oh, yeah. So, change of kicker now with Ty Carucci doing the honours, and unfortunately, he's had a barry and was pushed well wide of goal. They dead set can't buy a kick at the moment. No, they can't, and, and the Roosters, they'll be happy with that. Really nice play from the dummy half, Callum Game. He just he just drifted to, to his left, dragged a couple of Roosters defenders across, and then Hess, he really hits that line. So 12-0 after 19. These under-18s matches played in 35-minute halves. And it's good to have your company on this highlights package on Australia's sports leader, Fox Sports. This is the final episode of our junior representative coverage of uh, the final series for 2014. It's been very enjoyable watching the games elite 16-year-olds and 18-year-olds. Tyrod Pritchard, that was, making a strong run. Out there now for Townsville wearing jersey number 17. And he was backed up by a good carry from Jordan Kenworthy. And here's Pritchard again, upended by the 16 for the Roosters, Darren Shonig. And there has been a mistake in there. Yeah, Tappy, I think we've seen some really good some really good footy this year in, in these junior representative competitions, you know. A lot of tries are scored, but these games are played at a frenetic pace. Play the balls are fast and it's not easy for these guys to get back on side and get their defensive line sorted. And as they, they mature, defences do improve. But one thing that they come to to these grades with is, is, is a real lot of skill. You see the way these guys catch the ball and pass it. They make it look so easy. Uh, it's, it's really impressive to watch. Yeah, great athleticism. And you're quite right. A lot of tries scored. Reasonably quick play of the balls because there isn't the emphasis on the wrestle at this stage. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, the referees want it quick. And it's entertaining with the, with the score lines that we get. Oh, line, nice work, Fuamano. Linked up with Latrell Mitchell, who was on the fly. First time we've seen him really get into the thick of the action today, Mitchell. We know how dangerous he can be. Darren Shawnee, he has been sensational for the Tricolours. Off the bench right throughout this finals campaign. And just as I say that and give him a rap, a mistake. Commentators curse yet again, Jason Taylor. Yeah, look, the Roosters are really hurting themselves, aren't they? This is the first time they've been this close to... The Stingers try line, and Shawnee, as you say, he really carries that ball for, for the Roosters team and, and just keeps them rolling forward down the field. I'm not sure that he ever lost that ball at any stage. Um, it rolled out the back there, but I don't know that his arm really came off it. Mm. Yeah, perhaps a degree of grey in that decision. So the Stingers in. They get out of trouble set for them, and it's really the first time they've been in trouble in this game. I can't recall the Roosters being in their 30, apart from now. So, 22 and a quarter minutes gone, 12-0 to the local team, who did a job in winning the grand final of the Malmeninga Cup. And, oh, bodies bending back there on impact, Tyrone Pritchard. Hammered, but he gets the penalty for his team and he's not well. Look, I think the referee's called shoulder charge there. Yep, as you can hear. Here's another look at it. Yeah, again, look, I don't know if his arm's tucked against his body there. There's, there's some contact with the shoulder, but if the arm is away from the body, it's... It should be doomed to be play on. I think it was Joseph Ratu Vaka Siravalu that was penalised in 17. So as the battle continues and the player to whom I just alluded made that tackle down low and he's been congratulated by his teammates for forcing the error. Look, I really like the attitude of the Roosters team in, in relation to some individuals trying to change the momentum of the game. You know, they're really a couple of strong runs uh, a couple of big hits. To be honest, they, they, it hasn't worked for them. The, the, they've made some errors and they've given some penalties away, but I like the way that they're just trying to change the momentum here and, and put this Stingers team off their game. Here's Murchie's in a world of trouble here. 
I thought they were going to pick him up and drive him towards the Western Touchline, but the ref called held. So here's Ratu Vaka Siravalu. Scored a try in the preliminary final after he'd only been on the park about a minute. So we had to get used to saying his name fast from about that point in time, and it hasn't ceased right up to today's game. Shonig. Got a bit of footwork for a big guy too when he gets to the line. He was driven into the turf there by Tyrone Pritchard though. And through the hands, open side out to Momorowski. We've not seen him in this game thus far. O'Donnell, and now back to Shonig. Shonig brushes away from the first defender, but not the second and third. Pritchard stops him with a couple of others and they lift him. There's no need for that. Hold here. 12 early, 12 early. Now O'Donnell at acting half and onto the chest of Foma Silly. So you commented on that early in the game, Jason Taylor. Chad O'Donnell playing at acting half, and he he is even when they're on the attack in Townsville's 20. Yeah, look, he's wearing the number seven, O'Donnell, but he's playing hooker in this game. You know, he's defending in the middle of the field, and he goes to dummy half, which means, you know, they have a hooker. They lost two before the game. They have they have someone playing hooker, but, you know, they don't really have a natural halfback, which is um, it's going to make it hard for the Roosters. Indeed. So there, see, a little lift on the end of that tackle. I find it amazing that anyone would do that in any level of the game, given the obvious publicity surrounding it this season. Well, that's the issue with it, Tappy. You can't get people to ground. If, if it's a one-on-one -on -one tackle and a player's got some strength around his legs, you, you can't get them to, to ground when you tackle low without lifting them. Um, and, and that's the real conundrum for that whole rulemaking team in relation to, to how we make tackles and get people on the ground because the last thing we want is people standing in tackles uh, three and four times in a set of six in a game of rugby league mm -hmm. but that's where we're heading I hear where you're coming from and by the way you're the first person I've heard use the word conundrum for decades I like it though so the stingers they apply the blowtorch on tackle number five it comes away to Kurt DeLui he's over well the roosters you would think are spent at the present time. The amount of defence they've been forced to endure in this game takes its toll again. They really offered nothing there in terms of trying to stop Townsville. Yeah, it really was the role that the Townsville team got with that set of six. They just they just stormed their way down the field. There wasn't much to the try due to the fact that the play the balls were so quick and the Roosters just, their line was all over the place. And DeLui is the one who, who gets the result from it. If they land a couple of kicks, Townsville, it could easily have been 20 at this point. So now we see Cooper Bambling back in action after Ty Karuchi took the last conversion or attempted conversion. So, yes, this time they get one. So Bambling gets the flags in the air, one from four. 18 points to nil. It's a very handy lead ahead of the halftime break. Yeah, nice job again from the dummy half. The dummy half's been crucial in a couple of these tries, Gay, and he just drifted to his right this time and threw a pass across one player to the next. The two front rowers working together nicely. And DeLui finishes it off. So now a carry by Kurt DeLui. Goes without saying, he's been very strong. We have just a few minutes out from the halftime break here at 1300 Smile Clear Stadium. Farron Morris, oh, his yeah. first touch, and he'll play it back to Ben Stanford, who's also now been thrust into the game by the Stingers coach. And familiar territory for Townsville, isn't it? On the attack, 20 out from the line, and good ball movement again comes to Regan Grief. Grief got across the line very early in the game, but was denied. It was ruled held up. He might get another chance. So the Stingers, all the pressure in the world. A little bit of football here from Cooper Bambling. How close was he to the line in the end? And a mistake at the end of that piece of solo brilliance. Yes, yeah, some nice footwork from Bambling, wasn't it? It was a long ball from the dummy half. He's actually facing his own line as he caught it. But he's got a nice left foot sidestep. Thought he was going to get there for a second, Tappy. Good job from Ryan King to get a hold of him, stop him just short and trying to reach out and put it down. He, he dropped it, Bambling. So a set of six for the Roosters. Prior to half time, this is Jack Murchie. Tricolor's right wing up and it comes across now to Ratu Vakasura Valu. And ladies and gentlemen, that is only his surname. 
I think I'll call him Joseph Tappy. You go for your life. I've got the conundrum of trying to pronounce his surname in full flight. <laughs> Darren Shonig. Again, proving very worthy competitor off the bench. Now Ruben Porter. He's been dangerous right throughout this final series. Momorowski will slot into acting half. First receiver is Edwards. And now onto the chest of Latrell Mitchell. And Mitchell does well. He had four Townsville players there. Still pop the pass. Some second phase to Ryan King. Bit of razzle-dazzle here from the Roosters. It comes out to Murchie. He got the tip on from um, Chevy Ellis. Now King at acting half and to Travis Edwards. A kick. And comes back to Momorowski. Here's two of us. A check for the corner. He's got it down. The touch judge appears to be happy over there. And so too is the referee, Nathan Cormick. The Roosters, well, they've had to wait 34 minutes, but they've got one. Yeah, look, they're playing without a halfback, the Roosters. And Travis Edwards is, is filling in there competently at the moment, but it's not natural to him. This kick came across. Momorowski went up for it really nicely and gave two of us a check. Just enough room down the touchline. I still believe he's in a bit of pain, two of us a check with that knee or ankle, but he's toughing it out. As I say, Tappy, O'Donnell is a, is a dummy half. And Travis Edwards, he's a ball runner. You know, he's a ball running 5'8". He's, he's not really a creator. That's not his natural game, but he's he's been thrust into that position today and it it really is limiting the Roosters. So Momorowski to attempt this conversion of the try that he threw the final pass in. And not bad, is it, off the boot, although just slightly to the right of the post so they'll go to the sheds at 1 300 smile stadium with the townsville stingers doing it beautifully in this under 18's national final they lead 18 points to four mosby jella hescott two de louis bambling just one from four Sheck to avasa Sheck there the only try for the roosters just prior to the break and just before we take a break ourselves we'll quickly have a look at the first half tries and this was the first of them for Mosby Jella in the corner, Jason. Yes, some really nice passing here. I like the way the balls are put out in front on, on a number of these tries, Tappy. Uh, Hess has done a great job finishing them off, but some, some really nice handling in the lead up. Yeah, so another try to Townsville. And this is where the two front rowers combined, mate. Nice ball from Gayen to his front rower. De Louis, who got a four pointer, and then the Roosters responded prior to the break. We'll take a break ourselves. Back soon. Yeah.